I'm here in my laundry room with my little freezer and I am going to plug this into my Echo Flow River Pro portable power station and let's see how long this freezer can run on the Echo Flow River Pro. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. It is exactly 8 a.m. And I just plugged the freezer into the portable power station. And this freezer runs on 60 watts. But I was just looking at the output on here and it was close to 350 watts. So I don't know if this freezer surges when you first plug it in or what. But the freezer is full. I went shopping last night. I put everything into the freezer and I have not opened it since and I am not going to open it. I'm just going to see how long it can be left plugged into this Echo Flow River Pro before the battery in this unit dies. So will I be able to get 12 hours out of it? Will I be able to get 24 hours out of it? I'm hoping that uh, this echo flow will actually power this freezer for 24 hours right now if you look at the display on the unit you can see that the freezer is not drawing any power right now so it cycles its power usage so it'll draw zero watts for a while and then it'll draw some power when it needs to um, but it seems to be a pretty efficient freezer. So that's why I'm really curious to see how it will do on this Echo Flow. So this Echo Flow has 720 watt hours and it has three AC outlets and all of the AC outlets are 600 watt AC outlets. I have it here on the floor right next to the freezer. I plugged it in exactly at 8 a.m. So I'll be back later and we'll check on it. Right now it's at 97%. It is now 8 p.m. It is 12 hours later. Let's see what's going on with this Echo Flow River Pro portable power bank. So we have 11% left. Right now the freezer is drawing around 53 watts. And it says we have one hour left of runtime on this portable power bank. So it's been running for 12 hours. It says we have like an hour left. It's at 11%. So we could say this will run the freezer for 13 hours. So the issue that I have with that is when I tested out my 300 watt portable power station, that was able to run the freezer for 13 to 14 hours. So if this is a 720 watt hour, portable power station. I would expect this to be able to run the freezer for at least twice as long, which would have been like 26 hours, 28 hours. And instead, I've only gotten like 12 hours right now and, you know, let's just say 13 hours total. So I have to look into what is going on with this freezer why it's not running as efficiently as it should. One thing that I did notice when I put food in the freezer the other day is that there was quite a bit of ice buildup in it. So this is not like a self-defrosting freezer or anything. I would have to take everything out and then defrost it and then put everything back in. So I could do that. I'd have to put everything into a cooler and keep it in the cooler um, for a few hours while the freezer defrosts. This freezer usually defrosts pretty fast if I open up the door and unplug it and um, the uh, the ice that accumulates melts pretty fast. So um, maybe I'll do that. It's now a few days later and yesterday I defrosted this small freezer. It took me about an hour. I just unplugged it, opened it up, put everything that was in it in a cooler uh, which kept everything frozen solid. And I put a fan on facing the interior of the freezer. I put some plastic bins in the freezer to catch any of the dripping water. And an hour later, it was uh, perfectly defrosted. So um, we're gonna try this again now that the freezer has been defrosted. I am going to plug the freezer into my Echo Flow River Pro portable power station, and we'll see how long um, this power station can power this freezer. So it is a 2.9 cubic foot uh, small freezer. 
I just turned it on and I just plugged in the freezer and we could see that the freezer is drawing 53 watts from the portable power station and right now it is 100% charged and it says that there are about 15 hours or 14 hours worth of power back to 15 hours worth of power 14 15 uh, in this portable power bank. Now we do know that the freezer does not run on 53 watts continuously. It does cycle that on and off. So we'll see how long this portable power station will power this freezer today. It has been 15 hours since I plugged the freezer into the Echo Flow River Pro portable power station. And let's see where we are as far as power goes. So the power station is at 28% power and currently the freezer is drawing zero watts. So it's been on for 15 hours and there's still 28% left. It's the following morning now and I ended up unplugging the freezer at 2 a.m. when I checked on the uh, amount of uh, power left in the Echo Pro and nothing has been plugged into it since then and right now it's showing 3% of um, the battery left. When I unplugged it, it was 16 hours. It was running for 16 hours on the Echo Flow and it still said it had about 11% charge on the Echo Flow. So I'm assuming from that that the freezer could have run at least another hour on it, which would have brought it up to 17 hours, maybe 18 hours um, if you know we wanted to take the echo flow down to absolutely no power. Um, but I think uh, you know around 16 to 17 hours is a good estimate on how long you can run a small freezer. Um, on this Echo Flow River Pro portable power station. And um, so that is an improvement um, after it has been defrosted. So um, that's a freezer that has no ice or frost in it at all. And we definitely saw that um, when the freezer was not defrosted, um, it was much less efficient. And this portable power station could only power it for a shorter period of time. So I hope this video was helpful.